Well, for Monak Waibom's quest to flatten the curve, the State Commissioner of Information, Ini Ememobong, joins us now from the capital, Uyo Live. Mr. Ememobong, many thanks for joining us today on Newsday. As we know, schools did open for, uh, for students to write their West African school certificate examinations. And I believe it was out of 100 students that were tested that one test came back positive. What is the government doing about this? How has the government been able to respond to this? Have, have you had more cases? Yes, I'd like to thank you for this opportunity to join you and share the Aquabum story about how we're managing COVID-19. We increased testing. His Excellency the Governor had directed that aggressive community testing be done because away from the testing done according to those identified from contact tracing, we also needed to start community testing. And one of the areas we did was to test in preparation for the examinations. You know that children will be coming to write examination for exit classes. And uh, in those tests, one of them came out positive. And the first thing that was done was that the student was contacted and the Commissioner for Health and the COVID-19 Incident Management Committee immediately made provisions for the isolation, compulsory isolation of the person who tested positive and that person is writing that examination from isolation. Now, that is done in order to keep other children safe. You know, with children, uh, well, you could say that people in SS3 are not children, but they are still children because um, they would interact with each other. After examination, they want to share perspectives, and we've made it compulsory. No mask, no examination. The state government has also circulated masks, nose masks, um, fresh nose masks made available to all secondary schools where examinations are ongoing. So the student, and of course we can't mention name for confidentiality, the student is taking the examination in, uh, in isolation, and we have made taken sufficient steps to ensure that the integrity of the examination is not compromised. All right, um, Ine, I would like to find out from you, because I'm um, looking at the number of cases in Akwaibob State right now stands at 271, with 220 recovered, 8 dead, and unfortunately. But I must say that the standard for the opening of businesses, return to school, has to be when 5% of those returning cases from the test being done in the state is less than 5% is positive, then you can actually go ahead. I want to find out how much testing has been done, and did you achieve that less than 5% before schools were reopened? Now, I, I, you recall that when COVID-19 started, the testing centers were limited, and therefore we need to take samples and send all the way to Iroa in Edo State and some other places. So the testing uh, was not that fast, that period, and materials available for testing then too weren't that much. But with the testing center, which was part of the isolation center, which we recently constructed in Aquaibum State, testing has gone up which is why we're even doing community testing. We are currently at um, about 2,000, you know, 2,000 cases tested uh, currently. So, and that accounts for more than 45%, which is the function of our test center being available here. So that's um, to the extent, and we're still testing. As we speak today, the testing, um, the testing department is in our own local government area. They would also do community testing. Because away from the contacts you trace who are from confirmed cases, the people who traveled from areas where coronavirus is prevalent, people who are in the epicenter, and all those protocols set up by the NCDC, we are now going steps further to ensure that we just look at a community cohort of people and we test them. So we, uh, and for the schools, we had to undertake big contamination before we, they went there, which is why if you look at it, the sample population that was taken from schools you know, we, we couldn't test all the schools. No, no state has the facility to test all their students before they go there. But his excellency, the governor was concerned and said, look, let's take, and, and Uyo is still the epicenter for Aquaibon State if you look at it. So we took highly densely populated schools in Uyo and test with it is, and we, of all of it, it is, yes. Let me come in there. Uh, your governor, his excellency, Udomi Manuel, made known to the public that about three billion naira has been spent to fight the spread of COVID-19. He's been called to give account of how those monies were spent. That should be an easy thing uh, for his administration to do, right? Absolutely. That's not a problem. He mentioned it voluntarily. No one asked him. 
Uh, Udo Emmanuel is a man of accountability and probity, but you must understand that COVID is an ongoing thing. And uh, when he mentioned the amount that was spent, uh, you should know that he's saying as of the time he said it. And there's nothing to hide here. We have a full committee headed by the Secretary of the Government of Aquibum State uh, with relevant ministries there. Any information uh, you need uh, as to the breakdown, the Freedom of Information uh, uh, Law, uh, the Act, which is applicable, is there for anyone to see. But you see, for how long would you do the accounts? Would you do it every day? Would you do it every month to present the accounts every month, publish on newspapers every month? So at the end of COVID, you can be sure that the Aquibum State government will take practical steps. Our budgets are online. Our expenditure profiles are online. So there is absolutely nothing to hide about expenditure, the expenditure profile for COVID. But the thing is, it's a rolling expenditure. What we spent as at the morning or as at last night when we finished our COVID uh, uh, management meeting is not the same thing today. Us would have been in court. So if I give you an account as at yesterday and today something else happens. So the best thing is for us to be able to conclude, as we come to a terminal point or a safe point in COVID response, you put a benchmark there and you issue the statement. That's why he was proud to mention the amount. Well, the good news is that, like you said, the public will be able to access this information. I don't know when the end of COVID is going to be, um, but it would be good to know that that information is available to the public. Three billion is a lot of Naira. Many thanks to you, Commissioner of Information, Inia Memobong, for joining Absolutely. us on Newsday today.